What's going on guys? John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do sound with Kinter and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video we're going to look at sound, but before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to that channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership, that's all my courses, videos, and books, for one time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so, uh, a lot of people have been asking about sound with Kenter. Now there is a bunch of different ways you can do sound. This is probably the easiest one that I've found that we're gonna talk about in this video. And so I've got just a, a song here that I've loaded in here. We can click here to click me. And we click the stop button to stop it. And that's what we're gonna look at in this video. So let's close this. I've got a new file open. I'm calling it sounds.py. And this is just our basic Kinter starter code, 500 by 400 in size. Uh, we've got our main loop. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. So. Like I said, there's lots of different ways you can do sounds in Kinter, but the problem is some of them work on Windows, some of them work on Linux, some of them work on Mac, few of them work on everything. So that makes it a little bit difficult to make a video on how to do sound in Kinter without looking at specific things for specific operating systems. But there is a way that a lot of people use in Kinter to do sound, and that's to use Pygame. Now Pygame is a you know uh, third-party gaming I guess you would call it a set of modules, something. It's a way to make games in Python. And I'm going to do a Pygame tutorial uh, in depth probably pretty soon, a big playlist on it. But today we're just going to use one very simple aspect of Pygame with Kinter. So to use Pygame, we have to pip install it. So let's head over to our terminal and just pip install Pygame. Now I've already done this, so I'm going to say, get an error saying we've already got it. And your computer, it'll go ahead and download it and uh, all that good stuff. And that's all there is to it. So now head back over to our code and we just need to import this. So let's go import Pygame. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So let's come down here and let's create a button and let's call this my underscore button. And that's a button. We wanna put it in root and we want the text to say uh, play song or whatever. And we want the command to equal, let's say play. And then let's my button dot pack this. And let's give this a pad Y of 20 to push it down a little bit. And maybe we want to give this a font of Helvetica and like, I don't know, 32 or something to make it real big. Don't have to do that. Just it'll be easier to see that way. So, okay, we've got this button. Now we've created this play command. Now we have to actually make that. So let's go define play. And we don't need to really pass anything in there. So in order to use Pygame as a sort of uh, sound system, I guess you would say, first we need to turn on Pygame, sort of initialize it. So let's go Pygame.mixer. The mixer is what we wanna do, mixing sounds basically, it's a sound mixer. And then we wanna turn it on so it's init, right? We wanna just initialize this. So that will turn on Pygame. Now inside of our play function, we can actually use it. So let's go Pygame.mixer dot music, and then dot load, right? And then inside of here in quotation marks, you just point to where wherever your, your song or your sound file or your WAV file or whatever is located. Now this will work with MP3 files, it will work with WAV files, it will work with AUG files, whatever those are for, I think, Mac or whatever. Uh, basically every major sound file. Now this doesn't work with video files, obviously, this is for music and sounds, but you know, normal, sound and music file extensions work. So I've got, I created another uh, directory inside of our, let's see, we're, we're in our C slash GUI directory. I created another directory inside of this called audio. So we can just reference that audio. And inside of there, I put a song called not underscore me dot mp3. I think I downloaded this from YouTube. They have free music that you can download. I just randomly picked a song. Uh, you could do sound clips, you could do clips of you talking, you can do system files like beep, things like that, if you know where they're sitting on your computer. Whatever sounds you wanna do, you can add that here. Now notice this is a relative path. We could put the actual path, we could go C forward slash GUI forward slash audio. Uh, so either way works. Okay, so we sort of loaded it, now we have to play it. So we go again, pygame.mixer, 
dot music dot play. And this is a function. Now there's uh, several things you can pass in here. One of them is loops. And I'm going to set this to zero. Otherwise, it'll just keep looping. Or you could say loop it twice. Now notice this is a lowercase l. It looks like a capital L. That's a capital L. This is a lowercase. I don't know why Sublime, do Sublime does that. Uh, definitely a lowercase. So I'm going to set the loops to zero. So OK, we can go ahead and save this and head back over to our terminal and run this. So Python sounds.py. And now we have this button. When we click it, we get an error. So what did I do? Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Oh, misspelled music right there. So <laughs> mixer dot music play. OK, so let's save this and run it again. Clear the screen here. And now we have this. And we've got our song. Hopefully you can hear that through my speakers. Now this is a long song. Maybe we want to stop it. And there's no way to stop it, right? So <laughs> some Wednesday morning music for you. Uh, so you can close the program to stop it. And you can see you get a little pie game message in your terminal when you do that. That's kind of funny. So all right, we need to create a button for stopping this. And let's call this stop button. And this is a button. And we want to put it in root. And we want the text to equal stop. And let's not mess with the font. Let's just call a command equal. And let's call this stop. Call it anything you want. And let's go stop button dot pack. And let's give this a pad y of 20 to push it down a little bit. So now we need to create this stop function. So we can come up here and let's go define stop. And this is just pygame dot mixer dot music. Make sure, make sure you miss you spell music, right? Stupid. <laughs> dot stop. And this is a function. So we can go ahead and save this and let's run this guy one more time. So play the song. <laughs> And then stop, play the song, it starts over again, stop, and there you go. So you can see it's pretty easy to make a, an MP3 player type of thing with this. You need fast forward buttons, but the, the Pygame documentation can show you that how to do that if you're really interested. Uh, if, enough, if enough people are interested, let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll make a complete like MP3 player as a project or something. But uh, very, very easy. And you can see this is why I like using Pygame for this because Pygame is, is complicated. There's a lot to it, right? But we're just importing it just to use this mixer thing. And we just need a couple of lines of code to use it. So I might as well. Uh, it's a lot easier than some of the other ways to play music and sound files and wave files and MP3 files and things like that with Kenter. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com. You can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 45 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and we'll see you in the next video.